Hi everyone, I am back today with another process layout for a scrap lift by Shannon Noel from the Studio Calico Marks and Company back in um, September of 2013 um, from their design gallery. I pulled out that die cut that I've used before, a few layouts before, um, and I am using it to go ahead and rub in this like gold or this Inca gold. I don't know if it's like a paint or something like that. I bought it at Michael's and I've seen it a few people here on YouTube use it. So I am going to kind of rub the the Inca gold in a few circles to kind of make it look like it's flowing across the page in kind of like a an arch or like a half circle or just up across there. Um, the layout took me less than half an hour. However, I ended up burning up my finger on my glue gun. So if any of you guys have any tips on how to get um, those burns healed quicker than usual, I would greatly appreciate it. I got it like right on my index finger, so it hurts something fierce. It, it really does. It, <laughs> I've got a little band-aid on it right now since I am still scrapping. So I am just finishing up and darkening some of the circles here um, that I felt that needed a little bit more in it. And then I went ahead and I took off the die cut thinking I was done. And I missed a couple of circles. So I'm going to go back and kind of fit it back on there so I can get the two that I missed there at the bottom. And then when that is done, I am going to kind of splatter some Color Shine Gold Lame on top, kind of around there for a smaller, uh, for a smaller circle and kind of like a paint splatter look. So I'm going to do that. And because I didn't want to grab my heat gun, I was banded it with, uh, with just the, the paper there. It, it was okay. I wasn't too concerned about it smearing because if it smeared it was okay because it I wasn't looking for that that kind of perfect kind of look anyways I'm going to put this doily down in the background and I was just showing you guys there that I didn't have a big enough piece of this pattern paper so I went ahead and I just taped two of the strips together to make a one big photo mat and you can't really tell once I lay everything down that they were two pieces of paper to begin with I am stapling this die cut here on top of my photo and then I am going to add some dimensionals to it. My dimensionals gave me some problems. I, I love these. They're like a dollar from the expo and I like to put a whole bunch of dimensionals on the back just because I hate when my pictures sag in my album after, you know, after a couple of years. So I try to just put extra all over the place. Right, so I'm going to put that right in the middle of the mat there, and I am going to add this lacy type of ruffle here on the side. It actually was part of a table runner that I bought from a garage sale, and it had all this lace on the side, and I at some point was like, oh, I could cut this up and use it, and there we go. I added this paper heart here by American Crafts, and then I am adding these leaves by Prima. This is where I burnt myself. Oh my gosh, it hurt so bad. Those flowers are also by Prima. I tend to use those particular flowers every single time I make a page about my nieces. It is a die cut out of vellum that says right now. And then I have a 2 by 3 photo that is, I think it's just the same photo, just in a smaller size and just a close-up of her face. Um, and adding dimensionals to the one corner there, kind of tilting it off to the side. And then I'm going to add this American Crafts DIY Collection Burlap Bow. And then her initials in, from a Studio Calico Alpha sticker set. These are some American Crafts DIY Collection Wood Veneer Butterflies. I went ahead and I pre-typed my journaling on my typewriter and cut them into strips before making or before starting the video kind of helped with the uh, 
to cut down on the time. And I'm just adding some glue gun, or glue gun, so I'm adding some glue just in the middle. That way that the, the sides can kind of free float on the page and um, just add a little bit more depth to it. So just some basic journaling and then fidgeting with where I want these butterflies to kind of follow the circles around the picture. And you can see how I'm holding the holding the wood veneer with just my middle finger and, and my thumb because it had hurt so bad that I didn't want to, it, it, by the end of the video it had already blistered. So if any of you have had those type of burns, you know what I mean about it hurting so bad. <laughs> and then as a finishing touch, I added these incandescent, um, I think that's the word, um, but I'm adding these sequins here with some glue dots. And that will finish up the page. Oh, no, I'm, I take it back. I do stamp the, the date underneath the bottom journaling there. But I am adding them in twos across the page. Um, and a, there's two different sizes. I can't remember where um, I got these sequins from. But I always tend to go with them they, because they are different shades of colors. They seem to blend very well into whatever page I'm working on. So... And then just putting away the little sequins there that I didn't use and grabbing my date stamper by Becky Higgins and some just Jenny Bolin black ink. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.